listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Radio Show, only on Financial News and Talk. Now live in the studio, your host, local and national real estate expert and consumer advocate, Ron Siegel. And hello again. Welcome to Ron Siegel Radio. This is the show with no real boundaries. As we discuss current events, financial markets, politics, sports... Even poking fun at the rest of the media, this is the show that connects the dots of confusion delivered by conflicting media reports. We connect the dots so you know the actions you can take, how your family or business can benefit from current events. Most of all, thank you for joining me. Before we get into our intriguing content today, please join me in welcoming our featured guest and repeat offender, Christiana Schreifels is with us. Welcome. Thank you, Ron. It's great to be here again. Glad to have you with us. And let me remind you, if you ever have any more finance-related questions, I am the consumer advocate looking out for you, and you can reach out to me directly, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsiegelradio.com. Just remember, that's the number you call anytime for assistance. When you call that number, it comes directly to me first. There are no operators standing by. I am it. And if I had my soundboard ready, he would be telling you... Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. That's him. I forgot about him. Uh, While I do have a great team when it comes to developing a financing plan... There's no operators. You talk to me. You call me at 800-306-1990. We set up the program that is right for you, that is right for your family. We don't worry about what everybody else is telling you. And one of the beauties of what I do, and I share this on a regular basis, it just happened yesterday. Here's the issue. A lot of folks have to give you the information that their companies want them to give you. I was listening to a commentator from or, or, or one of the, the business broadcasts. And they had somebody from Charles Schwab on there. And the comment that the vice president or their representative on the show was saying, we don't let our representatives talk about X, Y, Z. And I'm thinking to myself, boy, I am sure glad that I got rid of all those licenses and all the reasons that they tell me that I can't do things. So now I can tell you the truth. Whether it's something that the regulators like or not, I'm just telling you my opinion. I'm telling you I'm not licensed to give guidance. I do have a mortgage license. I do have a real estate license. Never use a real estate license because there's smarter people than that than me. But when it comes to developing a financing plan, it's just you and me chatting. And I'll give you some some questions to go ask and the right people to ask those questions to. But let's start off our day. What is the celebration of the day? National California Day. I don't know about that one. National Cook a Sweet Potato Day. I, I, we might go there. Now we got this is a serious day here, and uh, Sergio, I think you'll agree on this one with me. We've got some seriousness going on today because we've got a combination of National Cook a Sweet Potato Day. I like that. National Chili Day. I like that. And you top it off with National Margarita Day. How could you go wrong? Takes a little while for my studio audience to catch the clue. Just the way it is, moving right on to the markets. What are the markets doing today? Obviously, we've seen a lot of volatility lately. Well, the Dow Jones Industrial Average up 318 points. That means it could go the other way. Yeah, my, 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 ah, I gotta watch his board today. Oh, well, up 318 points. Oil up 97 cents a barrel. And as always, we do watch the 10 year treasury 2.916 down about three and a half basis points as we speak. Interest rates are falling for the day. That's always some good news. So we like that, uh, that, that pro- trajectory. That's what I, that old, my tongue is tied this morning. I better get some more coffee. I've only had a full pot already. Uh, what else is going on in the news? You got to love it. The gift that keeps on giving every day I get a new message or I, I get a new sound bite from Nancy Pelosi. You got to love Nancy Pelosi. But we have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it. So Miss Pelosi has now come up with a solution after all her years in Congress to illegal immigration. She's got the answer. Are you ready for this one? I got to get a drum roll because I, I, I might I might fall over. Cut the grass. That was her answer. She gave that to a group in Arizona yesterday. We don't need a wall. We don't need more border security. If they would just cut the grass, we'll solve the problem. 
Now, if you recall, Miss Pelosi was Speaker of the House for many years. Uh, did she did she propose cutting the grass back then? Uh, no. But did she do anything? No. But that's her solution. Cut the grass. That's all you got to do. You don't need a wall. A lawnmower will do the trick. Could you imagine that? Good morning, Hugh. Glad to see you with us this morning. Look forward to seeing you out there in the desert next week. Moving right along, uh, what else have we got? We've got, got a lot of news going on right now. So, gun control. Did you see all the young people? Did you see the victims over at the White House yesterday with the president? Love the idea. Now, CNN, you know, <laughs> I think it's CNN. It might have been the Washington Post that came up with the dumbest of comments. And I've told you this before. We've got a media coup in this country. We see coups in Venezuela. We see coups in the Middle East. They're usually military coup. In the United States right now, it is a media coup. They're trying to take over the government. They're trying to split people. They're trying to cause all kinds of havoc. So what did they do yesterday? I think it was the Washington Post. They took a picture because the president went into that listening session with notes. Now, I don't know about you. When I go do a presentation, I take notes, and I don't have 100 million people watching. I don't have a families that have just lost their their loved ones in the room. Have you ever got tongue-tied when you're around somebody that's got something really major going on? Well, the President of the United States has notes and the media gets all over his case. Hard to believe how that goes on. Then you have the CNN, the Cannabis News Network. They had their town hall afterwards talking about gun control. Now, is gun control going to mean anything to anybody? Here's the issue. I love the listening. I, I think I might have shared this with you yesterday. The, the U.S. representative from Colorado, and no, I don't think he was high. I, it might have been, but I don't think he was. You know, so they're allowed to have uh, marijuana there. But he was one of the students at the time at Columbine, 1999. He was there firsthand. And I didn't realize this. The shooter in Columbine used an AK, uh, an AK-40, an AR-47, I think that's whatever, the AR-15, whatever, whatever that the rifle is that everybody hates right now. Now, AR does not stand for assault rifle. It stands for the name of the company that makes the rifle. But are you aware that there was a ban on automatic weapons or semi-automatic weapons at the time of Columbine? The weapon that was used at Columbine was against the law to be sold at that time. Are you aware of that? Now, they, they rescinded that ban, and now they use the same kind of a weapon again. But the issue is not the weapon. It's the individuals. Think about these concepts. You can ban all the weapons you want. I share this all the time when we have these issues. And I know they're all horrible. Every one child going to school and not coming home is way, way too many. Just one. That's way too many. But here's the issue. Laws don't help stop anything. They, they keep good people good. People that have mental illness, they don't do anything for a person with mental illness, a person that wants to kill somebody, that's not going to that's not going to solve the problem. You can't why don't we just write a law that says no mass murder? Do you think that'll help? Same issue as with the guns. So it doesn't do anything. Let's get back to the root. It's like putting a band-aid over a cut. Does it stop you from getting cut next time? No. If it did, you just put band-aids all over your body. So be careful with the knife. Be careful with a sharp rose bush or whatever you got cut with. Be careful of snakes. They bite. The venom is that hell doesn't stop the snake bite or the the uh, the serum, right? Think about some of these things. Uh, and the student protests coming up. Yeah, I know it's a George Soros paid event. So if you want to get make a little extra money, you can go to that thing. George Soros will pay you a little bit. But I think at the end of March they're going to do the the march for gun rights. Find a solution. You can't go, the, the, the Cannabis News Network, they'll bring all the kids up on stage because they know nobody's going to go after the kids. But let's ask one further question maybe. What do you suggest we do about it? And will that solution help you? Will that solution have solved the problem? Just a thought. More news. Senator Bernie Sanders now says Hillary Clinton is rival for the 2016 Democrat nomination. Should have done more to stop Russian interference in that election. Surprise, surprise, surprise. 
God. Also disputed the notion that Russians tried to help his candidacy in order to sow discord in the U.S. electoral process. The Politico piece accuses Sanders of presenting a series of self-serving statements. Now, Politico would know about self-serving statements, wouldn't they? Uh, Daler Collar has done some digging and found that Robert Mueller's staff of lawyers includes 13 registered Democrats and no Republicans. Again, surprise, surprise, surprise. 11 of the attorneys have even donated money to the Democrat groups and candidates. Apparently, apparently Mueller, despite being known as a skilled investigator, could not locate a single qualified Republican in all of Washington. So he's doing this analysis or, or this investigation, but he can't find anybody that has a neutral bias. It's amazing. I wonder if he's going to find any collusion. We'll find out. Uh, National Rifle Association not taking all the criticism laying down one of the organization's most powerful tools is NRA TV which give, which features gun rights advocates expressing occasionally inflammatory opinions in this video NRA member and lawyer Colleen Noir condemns the media for its eagerness to cover mass shooters and thus give them the fame they crave haven't heard that one before have we? unbelievable and uh, Jameel Hill back in the news. Yeah, she had that show on ESPN. Did you watch it? No, neither did. Nobody else did either. Uh, still claiming the president is a white supremacist. She was on the other news show, highly uh, not bipartisan news show, The View. I got a bad feeling about this. Hill continuing her race card and reaffirmed her condemnation of the president. The crowd, yeah, well, if they're at The View, they were happy about that. Unbelievable. Mixed bag of new polls. One poll shows that 45% voters approve of President Trump's job performance, which is up by four points over the past two months. The improvement is probably due to the full benefits of tax reform finally kicking in. In other good news for the White House, an increasing number of Americans are satisfied with the USA's position in the world on the other side of the coin, a Quinnipiac poll has the president's approval rating sinking to 37%. Now, Quinnip Quinnipiac is coming out with a number of polls that are being contradicted by other polling companies that are also left-wing polling companies. Think about this one. Quinnipiac came out yesterday, or the day before, saying 67% of Americans uh, uh, favored gun control legislation. And ABC Washington Post, and they're certainly no fans of the president, came out on the same day with a poll saying 50% of America wanted gun control. How do you have a polls that are 17% difference? Eh, just a thought there. Finally, the USA woke up in South Korea. It's about time. Nine medals. The United States women's hockey team won the Olympic gold medal today, defeating Canada in a game that was described as the most thrilling women's hockey game ever. Two teams had also met for the gold in Sochi four years ago, with Canada winning that time. Second place in the silver medal was obviously a great disappointment to the Canadians. Ah, what a shame. Uh, and my favorite story of the day, you probably understand this one. Some scientists, the ones I listen to anyway, have determined that one key to a longer life is to drink in moderation. People who survive beyond the age of 90, in addition to having great genes, tend to imbibe once in a while. A couple out every hour or so. It seems that a couple glasses of beer or wine every day do the trick. Also advised, have some Morning Joe, but do not watch Morning Joe. You are listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate. I think my guys forgot about... Uh, there we go. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah, that was a joke. Sorry. I guess it's pretty. It's not much bad when you have to tell people you're telling, telling a joke. But you are listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. When we come back, making yourself the most competitive home buyer in this seller's market. How do you do that? We'll talk about it. Mortgage rates are on fire. Home prices up in smoke. I don't know. And we've got the mortgage minute for you, all that and more. Reach me anytime, our off air number 800 306 1990, 800 306 1990, or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash ronsegalradio on Twitter at ronsegal. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. <laughs>
Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey, and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Did you know that banks and credit bureaus are rewarded financially if you have bad credit? And the worse your credit score is, the more money they can make off of you? How does that make you feel knowing that banks are getting rich off of your hard-earned money? How does it make you feel knowing that if a bank or a credit bureau makes a mistake on your credit report, they benefit from it and it hurts you? The Fair Credit Report Act of 1971 requires banks and credit bureaus to report only accurate information, and nearly 100% of all credit reports are inaccurate. If you're sick and tired of being broke and tired of being robbed by the banks, you owe it to yourself and to your family to call Rondi. Rondi is a FICO-certified credit professional and has helped thousands of people just like you get out of debt and establish great credit. Rondi's number is 855-608-1990. Again, that's 855-608-1990. Or visit creditsanitizer.com. Again, that website is creditsanitizer.com. Are you a veteran, own a home, and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home's value, refinance your mortgages, consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that care Character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 21037, and DRE number 01869452. Are you a veteran, police officer, firefighter, doctor, nurse, or teacher? If so, you qualify as one of Ron Siegel's VIP heroes, and we have rewards up to $5,000 or $10,000 when you buy, sell, or refinance a home with one of the Ron Siegel Radio Partners. As one of the heroes, real estate agents will rebate part of their commission. Lending partners will give a credit at closing. The title company has special published rates, and many other service providers have incentives, too. All you need to do is call Ron Siegel Radio at 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit VIPHeroProgram.com. Just think about what you will do with all the rebates and incentives from the partners of Ron Siegel Radio. Just call us at 800-306-1990 so we can show you our appreciation for your service. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert, Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message and as your consumer advocate. I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800 306 one nine nine zero eight hundred three zero six nineteen ninety in the mortgage minute today being brought to you by our friends at Gold Star Mortgage. When you're ready for that next mortgage, Gold Star has the programs, the products for you. They also have the fast pass loan approval that I don't know anybody else has that. Save ten to fifty thousand dollars on the purchase of your new home with that fast pass loan approval. Competing with cash offers, that's the idea. So the mortgage market today writes down stocks, mortgage bonds, both moving up a little bit. Yesterday, the Fed minutes showed that the Fed believes growth has been stronger than forecast. We've talked about that before, about the growth in the market. Always like to see that growth going because we were told we couldn't get the 3% growth. And somehow in the world, we, we've seen to have done it. So... Love it when people tell you you can't do something. It affirms the Fed's gradual approach to raising rates. The Fed also thinks further gradual rate hikes are appropriate. Inflation is expected to hit the 2% target in the medium term, 
But there are a few, if any, signs of wage-pressured inflation. The decline in the dollar, they said, should help move inflation towards their target. This morning, the newly appointed Fed Governor Randall Quarles said that inflation running a little below target shouldn't stand in the way of future rate hikes. He said after assessing the recent data, his take is that the current shortfall in inflation from target is most likely due to transitory factors that will fade through 2018, pushing inflation back back up to target. Economic news, initial jobless claims, which, which measures individuals filing for unemployment benefits for the first time, showed there were 222,000 claims last week. This represented a drop of 7,000 from the previous report and was 8,000 lower than estimates of 230,000. This week was the sample week used in the BLS jobs report modeling and would point to a strong February jobs report at least from this piece of the puzzle, the report comes out on March 9th. That is the Mortgage Minute brought to you by our friends at Gold Star Mortgage. Give me a call at 800-306-1990 if you want me to introduce you to those great folks over there. So let's chat a little bit about real estate today. Christiana Schreifels is with us and we're chatting. Our, our conversation this morning, we want to figure out how the heck do you get a offer accepted in this market. So let's chat a little bit about that. How do you do it, Christiana? <clears throat> well, there's a lot of steps towards it. Um, as as a buying agent, and I've worked with lots of buyers, I'll first tell you, don't come to me without being um, fully approved. Okay. That means you have a lender that has a, you have a letter in your hand saying that you've been approved for a certain amount. So you want to know your purchasing power. That's the most important thing. Um, and you also want to have your um, earnest money deposit in your bank account. So bring your checkbook too, because as soon as you start looking, you want to be ready to buy. You don't want to waste time because time is of the essence in real estate. If you see a house you like and you have your agent with you, so pick an agent out too. Or you can interview some and have your buyer's agent with you. You don't want to um, be out there saying, oh, I want to go to open house and you have nothing ready. Because so basically be prepared. Totally. And then, well, this, this day is and a age, seller's market. Yeah, so. this day and age, everybody's got so much uh, access, right? They've got access to all the different information, the media, the, the, multi, uh, the multiple listing information. Um, you know, you can go online and get the stuff. Right, as far as just numbers and what property is available. So the whole concept here seems to me, do your homework ahead of time. Right. Right, be right. prepared, come out and, you know, at, when you have that initial, then what, do you start your process when you're wanting to help somebody uh, be competitive in buying? Do you start out just saying, okay, let's get in the car and let's go after they've shown you that documentation? Or is it a consultation ahead of time? It's a consultation, absolutely not, I won't, in a, in a very kind, respectful manner, I won't just take people to go see their homes. You mean you're not like, a tour guide? Nope. <laughs> We're paid by commission. Okay. Um, so I'd like to see their documentation, and sometimes buyers will come to me. I have two right now. They had no clue. They you know, wanted to buy a house, and they wanted to go look right away, and I said, well, are you qualified? No. What does that mean? And do you, have, do you know your credit score? Things of that nature. So, of course, I made them a list, really simple, and I said, as soon as you're done with your list, call me. And it is get your credit score, know your credit score, have an awesome lender. I've referred you um, several times. And so when they come, they are ready to have buying power. And they're competitive when they're ready. There's an issue. Right? There's, a, there's a big issue right there is that they have the power, right? I mean, the whole right now, the market, I mean, we've talked about what the statistics are and how how there are so there's so few properties on the market right right and we're at nearly the all all time lows of inventory for yeah. sale so the whole concept and i've i've seen some agents recently and i don't know what your thoughts are on this mm -hmm. is they'll go out with a with a a family and look at properties the agent obviously knows if the agent has done their job like you're suggesting yes right that they've already they've they've had that initial consultation They've already seen the documentation that the, the family is qualified to buy because you, know, you don't want to go look at a $400,000 house and find that you're qualified to buy a $300,000 house. Exactly. Everybody gets depressed then. Yes, they do. Right? Yep. So they've already done that. You might even have a purchase agreement started on your computer. Mm -hmm. And I've seen recently where people will actually mm -hmm. sit down at the, the coffee table of the property that the family just fell in love with 
and write the offer there. Right. Have you seen that? I've seen that. I've done that. Okay. But only when I know exactly what they can purchase. Sure. And it's it's to their benefit. You know, a lot of times they'll say, oh, well, why can't I see that house? Well, because your, pay- your loan says that you don't qualify for that, and I don't want you to get disappointed. And it's easy to do that as I... Many first-time agents do that. I've been doing this for 13 years. You don't want to do that. Right. It's it's not realistic, and it's going to, you know, it just disappoints everyone. So you've probably, of 13 years, you've probably looked at at least 10 houses. <laughs> <laughs> Times 10,000. <laughs> so you've seen a lot of properties, yes. right? Yes. What is the, and I don't want to, I'm, I, no property, in my opinion, is good or bad. They, they're, er, right. Every home is somebody's castle. Right. It's. I always say that it's in the eyes of the beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Okay. So give me just a, a, a ballpark, not exact. Okay. What's the cheapest home, least expensive home you've looked at? I've looked at a, an expensive home out in San Bernardino County for a buyer of mine at two fifty seven. Okay, two hundred fifty seven thousand. Mm-hmm. What's the most expensive home you've you've looked in? One point two five. That was in Sierra Madre. Okay. So different buyer, of course. Absolutely. Now. If the person who qualifies Mm -hmm. for a $250,000 house goes and looks at that million dollar house, Mm -hmm. do you think they're going to be really impressed with it? Of course they're impressed with it. They're also sad they can't, they don't qualify for it. But many many of them won't even, the realistic buyers, you know, especially if you have an agent that is good, they're going to, they're not going to steer you that way. They're not going to blow smoke. Sure, (laughs) sure. And I, I probably used, I probably went too far with it. So, what about if that two hundred fifty thousand dollar buyer, if they went on their own without you and looked at a four hundred thousand dollar house, is that going to be, that's going to really excite them? Yes, it's it a is. beautiful home. Yes, it is. Relatively, I mean, Relatively. I don't know one property or the other. I'm just talking right. numbers. No, you're right. But a four hundred thousand dollar house, in most instances, is going to be a n- much nicer property than a two hundred fifty thousand dollar house. Exactly. Now, when you go and start, once you went and looked at that four hundred thousand dollar house, now you get realistic and go back to your two hundred fifty thousand dollar budget. Right. You might not see as nice a kitchen. Right. Y- right. You might not see as nice a master bathroom. Exactly. Or the area might not be as ideal as you'd like it to be. Right. But for starting out, it's it's a really good place. But you, you've kind of set up some unrealistic expectations for yourself. Yes. If you go and do something like that. Yeah, and, a lot and I of think buyers, that's what you're getting to, right? And a lot of buyers do do that because they go and look at, they everybody goes and looks at open houses on Sundays. Sure. And so then that's when that's what gives them the idea, the motivation. Hey, I want to buy a house now, and that's awesome. That's a great motivator. Um, but you know, sometimes when they find out what their buying power is, it it's either wow, I'm qualified for that, or wow, I'm not qualified for much. But either way. At least you know. it's a good start. Yes. A, you, you can make an educated decision if you're educated. You can't make an educated decision if you're not educated. Exactly. Right? It, it doesn't yeah. work that way. So here's my concept here is if you want to look at that million dollar house, my recommendation is do it six months after you've purchased mm-hmm. your home. And the reason I say do it six months after you've purchased your home is because now it's called a goal. You want to achieve that. Now, it may not be attainable in the first year or second year, but hey, who cares? you got a lifetime. So set those goals after you've got your property and you you haven't been um, misleading yourself because a goal is great, Mm -hmm. but deal with reality first. We're going to talk more with Christiana about this when we come back. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate current events and the financial markets. Mortgage rates are on fire. They are up just a little bit from last week. I had somebody on the broadcast yesterday putting on our Facebook live stream that about rates and how high they're going. They all went all the way from 4.38 last Thursday to 4.40 today. <laughs> That's according to Freddie Mac's numbers that came out at 7 a.m. our time. So it's not a huge difference. So don't worry about that. Great guidance will help you there as well. We'll talk about mortgage rates on fire, home prices. Are they up in smoke? We'll talk about that. You can reach me anytime, our off-air number, 800-306-1990, or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash ronsegalradio, on Twitter, at Ron Siegel. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few.
Eagle Lending Team offers you buying power. Let's say you can afford a monthly mortgage payment, including principal and interest, of around $1,900. With today's rate on a 30-year fixed mortgage of 3.75%, APR 3.85%, that payment could support a $416,000 mortgage. But if you wait and rates tick up to around 6.5%, which is roughly the average home mortgage rate over the past 30 years, that same $1,900 mortgage payment, including principal and interest, may only be able to support a $314,000 mortgage. That's over $100,000 worth of homes you're missing out on by waiting. That's buying power. All you need to do to get started is reach out to the Siegel Lending Team at 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Payment example excludes taxes and insurance. Call us for full details, 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Or SiegelLendingTeam.com. Equal housing lender, licensed under NMLS number 217037. Are you purchasing or own a luxury home? If you're like so many others, your home is your largest asset and the mortgage is your largest debt. The Siegel Lending Team has some amazing financing opportunities right now. Jumbo loans up to $2 million, 30-year rates below 4%, 15-year rates near 35 and if you can believe it, 7-year interest only hybrids in low threes. The Siegel Lending Team has all the options for your jumbo or second home loan requirements. Take advantage of them while you can. To learn more about all the other financing products available from the Siegel Lending Team, call 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Again, call 1-800-306-1990. Rates subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal Housing Lender. Homeowners that are 62 and older are about to find out a great way to live a better retirement. It's called a reverse mortgage, and SLT can help you learn more. Call the Siegel Lending Team at 800-306-1990 right now to receive your free booklet with no obligation. It answers questions like how a reverse mortgage works, how much you qualify for, the ways to receive your money, and more. When you call the experts at Siegel Lending Team today, you'll learn the benefits of a government-insured reverse mortgage, how it will eliminate your monthly mortgage payments, and give you tax-free cash from the equity in your home. Here's the best part. You still own your home. Now is the best time to take control of your retirement. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990 to get your free brochure. Call today or visit our website at SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Or simply call 800-306-1990. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message as your consumer advocate. I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. The real-time real estate segment today being brought to you by the area trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. Text TOOLKIT, TOOLKIT to 79564. Get the ultimate home finance toolkit. It is free. Mortgage calculators are in there. A home affordability worksheet is in there. Yes, and how about access to real-time interest rates? Not the rates you're going to get online because those are basically somebody else's rates. And every rate, you know, like I told you just a little bit ago, the Freddie Mac rate, 4.40% as of this week. Do you qualify for that? I'm going to suggest 99 people out of 100 do not qualify for that rate. And the reason being is it's 40% down payment. It's a conforming loan balance. It's all the utopia that comes with the marketplace. There are loan level price adjusters that go with every different loan product. So we want to get you into the rate that applies to you. That's the issue there. And we know that mortgage rates are on fire. Home prices, are they going up in smoke? Well, here's some history for you. Mortgage interest rates have already risen by over a quarter of a percentage point in 2018 alone. 2018 alone. Yeah, a little painful. 
Many are projecting that rates could increase five to, to 5% by the end of the year. What impact will rising interest rates have on house values? Many quickly jump to the conclusion that an increase in mortgage rates will have a detrimental impact on real estate prices as fewer buyers will be able to qualify for a loan. This seems logical. If there is less demand for housing, then prices will drop. However, in a good economy, rising mortgage rates increase demand as many prospective purchasers immediately jump off the fence to guarantee they get the lower rate. So I put a chart up on our social media channels this morning of what happens to home values when there are dramatic increases in interest rates. So in 1983, I don't know how many are old enough. As, you know, that's when I bought my first house. Interest rates 12.63 percent. 12.63. Wow. In 1984, July of 84, interest rates had gone to 14.67. Well, significantly more than we are today, right? Home prices changed during that period. They were up 6.6 percent. So you went from 12.6 to 14.6 in about a year, and home prices went up 6.6%. In 1987, March, 9.04% to October of 87, 11.26%, up 5% in the real estate value. So it seems like there's a little bit of a problem here. April 1999, 6.92%. May of 2000, are you ready for this? 8.52%. Again, I say ow. What did the real estate prices do? Up 10.9%. Surprise, surprise, surprise. In each case, home prices appreciated and did not depreciate. No one is projecting as dramatic an increase in rates as the examples that I just shared. Most are projecting an increase of approximately 1% by the end of the year. The last time mortgage rates increased by 1% over a 12-month period was in January of 2013 to January of 2014. What happened to house prices during that span? They were up 9.8%. So the bottom line is prices on real estate probably won't go down just because interest rates are going up. That is the real-time real estate segment brought to you by the area trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. Text toolkit to 79564. Get your ultimate home finance toolkit. Continuing our conversation this morning. Christiana Schreifels is with us. She is a real estate professional. 13 years. 13 years. Nice. <laughs> so you got a little experience in all these things. You've seen some of these uh, yeah. these data points. Yep, I have. <laughs> uh, so And it doesn't kill everybody. Nope. It still goes on. They're, real, they're still buyers and still people want to sell their home. So here's my, my pet peeve with some people, in the, especially in the lending industry, not as much in the real estate industry because the realtors are out there selling property, showing property, helping families get homes. The lenders that are in the marketplace, and it's especially with those that are strictly worried about the next commission. Mm. And I hate those guys. I, I, I just, yeah. I, I, they, they, I despise them. I do too. Right? Yes. And they go out and they tell somebody, well... You can't buy a house. Right. That's not true. No? It might not be. It's not no. It's what you were saying earlier. It's not yet. Right. But yes, if you put your mind to it and you do what you need to do, you'll get there. So somebody that's got a 450 FICO score. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And we know that FICO runs from 350 to 850. And the common number, and I know there's special programs for almost everything, and we have every one of them over at Gold Star. But... You know, generally you want to be above 580, above 620, yeah, right? Yeah, you do. Can, can, they, can you change that? You can change that. Um, that's one thing that I was discussing with you earlier is, you know, I do have awesome people who have the buying ability in terms of their income, but they don't have a good FICO score. So then they go, well, what do I do? I have to rent forever? Absolutely not. You can actually, let me, let me just gear you towards someone who's going to help you fix your credit. Look at a three month to year you know, your goal. Um, I haven't seen it take longer than that. It's up to the person how right. fast and how slow they want to go. Um, so I think there is a place that you can refer them to um, to do that, right? Yeah, absolutely. So the, the issue there is if the FICO is if, if, if the FICO is the issue, right. fix it. Fix it, exactly. Right? And if, if you don't make enough money, make more. <laughs> Get right? a different job, right? Get a, get a different job, get a second, second job. Second job, exactly. Right? That's the way this country was built. The will, if there's a will, there's a will. Right, if that's, if you, it's your desire. So I, I saw somebody that went from a, 
I got a 630 FICO score to a 780 wow. in about four months. That's amazing. I believe it. I've right? seen one buyer of mine do that in three years. She went from making a lot of money. She was a nurse actually. Um, and then she had no way, no, not, there was no clear path for her. And then I said, okay, let's try to do this. Three years later, I was very proud to be the one hand, handing her her keys. To me, that's gotta be the most gratifying part. And I, like I say, I've got a real estate license. I don't practice real estate. But one of the most gratifying things I know as a lender, mm -hmm. you know, telling somebody they're approved for a loan, and I can't imagine what the feeling must be for a real estate professional to hand somebody their first set of keys. Yeah, it's it's I, I never get it never gets old. It's really a good feeling. I would imagine yeah. that, and the, the whole concept again here is setting a path, yeah. right? D develop that path for getting somebody to home ownership. The client that I was helping, mm -hmm. basically, she had no credit. Okay. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> she had no credit cards, no car payment, no mortgage. You, so you run a credit report, and it says, uh, "Do you really exist?" Exactly. Uh, yeah, I've seen those. Right. <laughs> yeah. And then, it's funny. And then the thing that drives me crazy is the law says that on a credit report they must show you the four items that are, that are most detracting from your score. So I have a gentleman that has an 834 FICO score, hasn't applied for credit in four years since he did a, bought another piece of property, and it says that the reason he doesn't have a higher score, again, remember 850 is perfect, no he kidding. has 834, wow. because there's too many inquiries. He had one. Oh, okay. Wow. One. I mean... That's crazy. Right? But they, they have to come up with something. So when you see that first page, it says, what's deterring from your score... You have to understand it's not much more than just that, right? So get the guidance. Yeah, yeah. I'll lead. I'll guide. I'll guide them to you for loans. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here's the issue. The next one that I wanted to talk about. Do you, do you get? Much, do you work with veterans? I have worked with veterans. I actually have a guy right now who um, can go VA. And to me, that you know, I, I do a lot of work with veteran organizations. I, I love our veterans. I you know, I I couldn't get out here and do what I do. You know. What other country can you go and say that the president doesn't make sense on an issue or the Speaker of the House is a complete loon or we've got Mad Max here in Los Angeles, right? It's yeah. because of our veterans out there. It's true. Right? Yep. And they've earned the right to have the best loan on the market. I, I, I fully agree. And it it's, can be also um, an emotional issue, you know, because you, you want to give them what they deserve. They've fought for you. Right. You know, so why don't they have houses more than everybody else? Absolutely. Right? Yeah. So you've got the best loan in the, in the whole world there. If you're a veteran, it's going to cost you less to get into a new home than it's going to cost you to rent a home. Exactly. Right? I wish I can get a VA loan, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It costs less for a veteran to get a, into a new home. Now, I'm going to share with you because I, get, I just had this call the other day. Can you do a VA loan on a mobile home? I have a gentleman right now. The answer to the question is yes, but why would you? <laughs> right? Exactly. Here's the, let, let me ask you, did you sell houses as well as help buy, with, on the buyer side, right? Yes. Okay. Is a mobile home appreciate as quickly as a single family residence? Not at all. Right? Yes. So when you go to sell, right. think about the exit strategy. Exactly. And, and one of the points I made to him um, two days ago was he doesn't own the land. You can own the land, sure. but it's, it's, it's usually not the case. So if you're a veteran, I, I know that, you know, was, again, we thank you for your service. Let us get you into the right project. You know, whatever you did in the military, I guarantee I am not qualified to do. You could shoot a gun better than me. You can fix a tank better than me. You might, you know, be able to do the electronics better than me. You were trained to do those things. I might have been better. Christiana might have been better trained in real estate. I'm just thinking that, that that's a possibility. Get great counsel. That's... That's just the way. You're probably teaching somebody else how to do what you were trained to do. I know there's a lot of positions out there for our military. Thank you again. Get that guidance. Go buy a single family house, a condo, use that VA loan, and get what is in the best interest of you and your family. And give us a call at 800-306-1990. I'll put you in touch with great people to help you. Christian is here to help. That's why we have people come on the broadcast. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio, discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. When we come back, a millennial's guide to getting your first 
car loan. We'll talk about that one when we come back. You can reach me anytime off air number 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990 or ronsegalradio.com. And remember, make a lot of money. Well, that's actually, we're going to talk about that in a little bit. But hey, we'll be back in just a few. Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Most businesses struggle to get the online reviews they need to get a competitive edge over their competition. Rex is a brand new technology that uses text messages to direct happy clients to your online review sites, Zillow, Google, Facebook, and Yelp, and unhappy clients to a private survey so businesses can win more customers. Try Rex today by going to www.meetrex.com. Are you currently renting a home? Do you like paying someone else's mortgage payment? Why not explore the options to purchase your own home? Can you imagine a 30-year fixed-rate loan below 4.25% APR? This means with $10,500, you can purchase a $295,000 home and have a principal and interest payment of about $1,400 per month. What are you paying in rent? Does your family deserve the opportunity to take advantage of the current market? To learn more about these exciting opportunities, the Siegel Lending Team is standing by to speak with you. Call now, 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Or 1-800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal housing lender. Not endorsed or sponsored by any government agency. Do you have a goal of mortgage-free home ownership? What if your home was valued at $500,000? Are you aware that a free and clear home could be costing you $2,500 every month, $30,000 per year? The mortgage planners at the Siegel Lending Team would like to show you how you can own your home, generate tax-free income, and accumulate family wealth. You simply need to call the Ron Siegel Team at 1-800-306-1990. That is 1-800-306-1990. By sending the team a copy of your most recent mortgage statement, the team will send you a no-obligation real estate plan. You be the judge if this is right for your family. Again, all you have to do is send the team a copy of your mortgage statement by email to reap at ronsiegelradio.com or call today, Ron Siegel, 1-800-306-1990. That is 1-800-306-1990. Great subject change and without notice. Licensed by the California DOC and BRENMLS 217037 and 145502 and CalBRE 01869452 and 1-866-7. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert, Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message and as your consumer advocate. I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800 306 one nine nine zero eight hundred three zero six nineteen ninety. In the Word on Wealth segment today, being brought to you by CreditSanitizer.com. You have a credit report. It is wrong. What are you doing about it? Credit Sanitizer has these solutions for you. Just go on the website, sign up, get the information. They'll help you. If you need professional guidance, let me know. And I'll put you in touch with Alan Hayon and his team. And they'll help with getting your credit scores increased as quickly as possible. Most of the time, it just has to do with getting rid of the errors. Millennials Guide to Getting Your First Car Loan. Buying a car, yeah, it's kind of fun. But here's the issue. Make sure you're buying something when you're looking at cars. Number one, don't let the, the auto dealers t- let you know I said this. <laughs> Take a look at a low mile used car. Low mile, let somebody else have the initial depreciation. I have a friend of mine that just got a new car and I forgot the, the make because we were looking at it, it was, had 9,000 miles on it. 
Somebody else took a major portion of the depreciation. They come from the big auction houses, which we can put you in touch with folks who can help you there. They'll certify the cars. They go through them with a fine tooth comb and let you know if there's anything wrong with them. But think about that. At 9,000 9, miles, 5,000 miles on a car, Lex, this was a Lexus, I think, ES350 with 9,000 miles on it. What do you, how much money do you think you save by doing that? Get your finances order in order. Understand those. Maybe you want to look at a car that you can pay cash for. Save the money up front, pay cash, make payments to your savings account. And then when you're ready for the next car, you go and pay cash for that one. Maybe it's a nicer car. Who knows? But if you're not paying interest, you could probably save a lot more money. You have to have a plan, though. Again, save up for a down payment if you need a down payment so you're ready for that. Know what you want, what it costs, do your homework. Again, I put you in touch with Jim Kane. He can help you with all of that. Get an auto, auto loan quote from a bank or a credit union. That's the issue. The car dealers make a lot of money on finance. Now you might want to do your homework ahead of time and be sure you know what you're doing. You might need a cosigner. Who knows? The cosigners need to understand what their responsibilities are and what it's doing on their credit and availability of credit as well. Don't fall for the monthly payment scheme. Know what you're paying for it. They're going to put a big X in there, a big uh, tic-tac-toe board in the middle of the piece of paper. What do you want as your payment? What do you want to pay? What do you have as your trade-in? It's a scale. Don't let them. Don't fall for the trick about trade-ins either. I know first-time buyers aren't going to do that. You can refinance a car. Be aware of that as well. Know your finances. Be ready to negotiate. Know your stuff. Know your, just be educated. It's always the same issues. That's the Word on Wealth segment again brought to you by CreditSanitizer.com. We're continuing our conversation this morning. Christiana Schreifels is in the house. We're talking about helping first-time buyers get that new home that they want. And how do you win, or even if you're not a first-time buyer, how do you win that process when you're in a seller's market? So what else? We, what, what other tips and tricks do you have for us, Christian? I mean, I know that uh, you've got to be honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's another issue that I have. It's, a, it's a, a fascinating story. You're helping somebody probably with their largest purchase of their life. Right. Right? Of course. And they tell you what they think you want to know. Right. <laughs> right? A big difference there. There is a big difference. What, yeah. what do you need to know? What is, I mean... I need to know... Um, Everything. <laughs> if you're yeah, everything and you know, and the kitchen sink. No, I need to know that you're serious. That you have your earnest money deposit. You have your proof of funds ready. What's what is proof of funds? A lot of buyers don't know what that is. It's actually your bank statement or your savings statement or your 401k, whatever you're going to use for your down payment. It has to be in black and white and for real. It can't be an imaginary thing. Sure. Um, and you have to actually know what your expectations are of what kind of house you can buy, as well as what are your expectations in terms of what you want to buy. And um, have somebody whom you trust to guide you through the whole process without any, there's there's no tricks in the trade. It's simple, you know. Experience. Experience. You, you got to know what you're, what you're worth on paper. And um, you have to be realistic when you go out and look for a house. There's not a perfect house. Even the most beautiful ones are not perfect. So if you come across a person that says, you know, I'm thinking about buying my first house, mm -hmm. but should, maybe I just want to lease for another year. And then the property that they're leasing is a two-bedroom rental lease. Mm -hmm. But when they tell you about a house, they want a four-bedroom. That happens all the time. Um, and it's generally um, younger aged buyers okay um, but at the same time they can have that four bedroom two bath house as opposed to the two bedroom one bath if they moved possibly to a different county or a different area so it's it's really up to them and I'll give them options like here's what I found for this and here's what I found for this in this area and so then that's that gives them a better perspective of where they're gonna live and how far they're gonna drive to go to work so it's possible it is possible I don't you know my perspective I've never I, I believe in things that are impossible can be possible depending on uh, what you want to sacrifice sometimes and what you want to wait for because sometimes it's not right now it's not no it's just not yet so say uh, that again it's not no it's just not yet 
And that's a big issue that a lot of people never ever think about. Right. Right, because they're worried about, you know, I, I can't afford this, I don't have enough down payment money. You know, I, I hate to say it this way because it sounds very crude. <laughs> don't think. Just right? do. In some, you know, if you share with your professional what you're, what you're thinking, they may have a solution for you. You know, I've, I've had people in the past, and I'm sure you've come across this as well, mm-hmm. that, you know, I'd love to buy that house, and you told me that I need $25,000, but I've only got twenty two, so I'm, not, I'm just going to tell you that I don't like it. Right. Well, but the answer is, is that you don't have that money, so maybe there's another solution that an experienced agent can help you with. Right, and I've also, um, you know, I've seen where a lender can, um, there's different products for loans. And sure. I've seen the, um, it, you know, it might be impossible with one lender, but that doesn't mean it's impossible with another lender because some, some lenders will have different products that can make that happen. I had that one incident happen to a um, home buyer in Sierra Madre, and um, we were told no by Bank of America, and then I shopped within a matter of days for a different lender. Within 24 hours, we were in escrow. So that's a big issue right there because one of my pet peeves is you never want to be going to the big bank on the corner. Exactly, but hopefully your buyers listen to you. <laughs> right, and, and here's the reason, I, and I know a lot of people that work at the big banks, but here's the issue with the big banks, they only have one product to offer, right. theirs. Exactly. So just like you said with that bank, and I don't want to get in trouble with any of the, any, any specific <laughs> bank, but Me right, if, if, they, if they can't do it, they don't ever say, you know, maybe John has a program that'll work for you. Right? There's other programs, other places, and get great counsel. Talk to you. Let everybody know what you're trying to accomplish so you can build a what I call your household board of directors to help you get that new house. And whatever you do, set that first radio preset button to come back here every day to join Ron Siegel Radio where we only speak about items affecting your house and your bank account. Thanks to all of our sponsors. A big thanks to John, who's engineering us today. And of course, a special thanks to you for spending a little bit of your day with us. That's all for Ron Siegel Radio. Again, if you have any questions or meet any of our guests, call me anytime, 800-306-1990, or ronsiegelradio.com. And remember, make a lot of money so you can help a lot of people and have a lot of fun. Have a great day. We will talk to you next time on Ron Siegel Radio. Over the limit, I'd like to call him something. I think I'll just call it a day. Pour me something tall and strong, make it a hurricane before I go insane. It's only half past twelve, but I don't care. It's five o'clock somewhere. It's five o'clock.